If you're trying to transition yourself into a high value woman right now, start with your closet. The Next Door Podcast. Welcome back to The Next Door Podcast. I am Bestie Next Door and I'm like your bestie next door. If you like your tea to be extra, extra sweet, then this place is not for you because we like our tea to be sweet and bitter. Sweet enough that it goes down, bitter enough to wake us up. Now, guys, you guys know how much I was in love with American Honey and American Honey is back in the picture. It pairs really well with Red Bull. But for SMR sakes, let's crack it open. First sip. Such a perfect combination. Like this American Honey Whiskey is really for high class babes because it's not too strong and it's not gonna get you pissy, pissy drunks. It gives you that kind of like drunk where you're just tipsy and you feel, you know, like. Now, before we start this episode, if you're looking to get the High Value Woman audiobook or you're looking to book a one-on-one with me or you're looking to take the High Value Woman course, the link is in the description box below. There is going to be a generous discount because spring and summer is approaching and the code will be in the description box below. Now, on this episode, we're talking about how to package yourself like a high value woman. Packaging as a woman is very important and a lot of women lack proper packaging. Most have the mindset of, oh, it doesn't matter how I look. I shouldn't be judged by the way I look. It's about what's on the inside. Yes, what is on the inside matters a lot, but first impression matters more because how is someone going to get to know the inside if your first impression isn't even up to par? Just think about it. If a man is approaching you and he could be the richest man in the world and have all the things that you ever wanted, but if he comes up to you, his breath is stinking, like he didn't brush his teeth in five days, he stinks like he didn't shower in three days, he doesn't have a haircut, he has holes in his shirt, his clothes look dirty, he's wearing slippers and his feet look dirty, and even though he's the richest guy in the world, you wouldn't even get a chance to know if he's the richest guy in the world because his presentation, the way he packaged himself is totally off. We all judge a book by its cover. No matter what, even amongst us females, we all judge a book by its cover. That's why packaging yourself is very important. And a lot of women think that packaging yourself has a lot to do with income, but you don't have to have six, seven figures in your bank account in order for you to look expensive. Neither does your income as a woman have anything to do with being high value. It's all about packaging. And the first step in expensive packaging is let it go of lack mentality. Most women have lack mentality. When you are cheap with yourself, it shows. And you can't expect a man to be expensive with you when you are cheap with yourself. Because believe it or not, you show a man how you want to be treated by the way you treat yourself. So if you are cheap with yourself, he's going to be cheap with you. But if you treat yourself of high value and expensive, he's going to be expensive with you because why? You're valuable. You treat yourself like a valuable woman, so he's going to treat you like a valuable woman because if he doesn't treat you like a valuable woman, next caller. And you wouldn't even have to worry because when you are a valuable woman, you're not even going to attract men that's not going to treat you like value. Nothing is too expensive for you. The only thing that's expensive for you is time. And a lot of women rather trade things they can't replace over things that they can replace. Imagine you're going to the grocery store and you're going to get your favorite box of cereal. When you go into the aisle and you're looking to get the box of cereal, are you going to select a box that's torn up and mushed up or are you going to go for the box that's well packaged and hasn't been touched? Exactly. Packaging is important. Because before anyone is going to want to know who you are on the inside, the way you package yourself is what matters. I know that a lot of times us women, we try to always have the shortcuts and think about, okay, you know what? I'm going to buy this because this is $10. But you should never be cheap when it comes to things with yourself. When it comes to your clothes, when it comes to your makeup, when it comes to self-development, you should never be cheap with those things. Think about it. Even fast fashion. We love indulging in fast fashion. But when you think about it, there's so many brands that are affordable and give you quality as well. Like for example, look at this top that I'm wearing. This top did not cost me an arm and a leg, but it's of good quality, right? Quality over quantity. When you think about it, the fast fashion thin material that you're gonna buy for $10, it usually doesn't last that long after you wash it two to three times, it starts to fade. A quality piece that you're spending $50 on, maybe $80 on, you know that you can take it to the dry cleaners, you can wash it, and it's still going to give you more wears over the fast fashion item. Now I wanna give you guys an assignment. If you're trying to transition into a high value woman right now, Start with your closet.
declutter that closet because a lot of you have clothes that you have for four years three years you want to keep a whole bunch of clothes that you're not wearing that's cheap and probably have holes in it quality over quantity i want you to clear out all those clothes all the clothes that are not of quality don't think about oh my god i'm losing money you're not losing any money money comes back to you because you understand as a high value woman you are abundant and everything that you want comes to you easy so you're going to declutter that closet any clothes that you don't see as value throw it away. Keep quality pieces only. Allow there to be room in your closet for you to grow and get more good quality items. Then you're taking that first step into packaging yourself into that woman of value because you need to dress how you want to be addressed. If you dress in a way that is provocative, people are going to address you in a provocative way. If you dress like a woman of class, they're going to address you as a woman of class. And I don't want to hear the, oh, well, women still can dress classy and men will still address them in a provocative way. No. Because why would a woman of class go to low value places where men will be approaching her in a provocative way? Classy woman is not gonna go to locations where men are gonna just be approaching her or saying whatever to her. She's not even gonna put herself in that situation. You know, as women, we have to all collectively start holding ourselves accountable for situations we may end up in or how a situation ends up playing out. And the moment you start holding yourself accountable is when you know you're becoming a woman of value because a high value woman is one that knows how to hold herself accountable no matter what. She's not going to be pointing the finger at everybody else. She's going to point the finger at herself and start thinking like, okay, well, how could I have done this in a way that would have worked in my favor better to get the results that would favor me? When you start packaging yourself as a woman of value, you're gonna only attract men that wants to spend money on you. And this is another thing too. When you finally interact with a guy who has money, don't be acting like a broke bee. Don't be acting like you're not used to money. Don't be acting like everything he's doing is woeing you, like you never done this before, you never had that. The moment you start acting like you've never been around money is the moment he's gonna mentally decrease your value. So even if you've never seen or you've never gotten this before, act like a woman of value. Act like it's nothing. Like don't act like he's doing you a favor. Act like you're used to it. He's doing what he's supposed to. Don't act like he's doing you a favor by spending money on you or taking you to the finest restaurants or buying you nice bags. You're already used to it. This is what he's supposed to do because I am a woman of value. Not, oh my God, I never had a guy to spend this kind of money on me before. Oh my God, like, you know, I couldn't afford it. Don't ever say that to a guy. A guy shouldn't know what you can and cannot afford because the moment he knows what you can and cannot afford is the moment he's gonna price you and say, okay, this girl's not of that value. The moment you get that man to run a bag on you is the moment you know that he truly likes you because a man will spend money based on how he feels about you. That's how you truly know if he really likes you or not, if he's spending money. If he's not spending no money on you, next caller. That means he doesn't like you. What are you wasting your time for? He doesn't like you. That means he's just trying to put you on your back, add no value, get what he wants out of you, and walk out the door. You know I bounce from different topic to topic, but women got to start understanding. It's never about women who ask men for money don't have their own money and I don't want to seem needy. No, it's never about that. It's about knowing how much he likes you. Because if he's spending a bag on you, then he clearly likes you. I see the comments where they be like, oh, well, a guy could spend money on four different girls. Well, that means he likes all four of them, but there's going to be one that he spends more money on than the other. There's no way a man is going to equally spend a lot of money on all girls there's going to be a few that he may do things for but he's never going to spend the same amount of money across the board like okay for example he's spending twenty thousand on one girl and he's going to spend twenty thousand here no he's going to he may spend twenty thousand on this girl and spend five thousand on this girl and spend eight thousand on that girl so just because he's spending money on them doesn't mean he's spending money on all of them equally because look a man would never split his pockets equal with women he's always going to spend more on the woman that he likes the most that's why him spending money on you will let you know how much he truly likes you even if a man doesn't have enough because he likes you he's gonna make sure he has money and confidence go hand in hand when it comes to these men and when a man truly likes you he wants to be the superhero of your life he's gonna want to provide everything you need because he doesn't want you to go out and look for someone else to do it a man is always going to go above and beyond for his dream girl and if he's not going above and beyond for you clearly you're not his dream girl because even if that man doesn't have it trust me you'll be surprised how quick he's going to find a way to make sure he does have it and women try to be like oh well i have my own money i don't need his money i go 50 50 is only fair but if you want your man to make more money start asking him for more things start letting him know you need these things that's how you motivate him to make more money if he truly likes you, trust me, he's going to be motivated to go hunt and make him some more money. But if you sit in there with the whole, oh, I don't want to ask him for anything because he doesn't have and I don't want him to feel bad, you're only enabling him to continuously be broke. You want your man to make more money? Challenge him. If that man truly loves you, he's going to go out and hunt for it. 
And that's how you challenge him to be a better man. Because as you are increasing your value as a woman, he's not going to want to lose you to the next guy that has more than him. So you know what that's going to do? It's going to motivate him to hustle harder. Because why? He, he wants to be the number one man in your life. So with him wanting to be the number one man in your life, and as you are working on yourself being that girl, trust me, he's going to make more money. Stop having this settling attitude when it comes to your man's finances. Push him. Yes. Start telling him, yeah, babe, I need this. Yeah, babe, I want that. It's not like you're going to come from a place of, oh, if you don't give it to me, I'm going to go to the next guy. No. But you're using the love that he has for you to motivate him to make more money. And another thing, before we end this episode, you need to also look at how do you wear your nails and how do you carry your lashes because a lot of women don't understand that the way you carry your nails and the way you carry your lashes really says a lot about you like for example when i used to love 19 mm on my lashes i used to love 21 mm but now as i'm becoming a woman of value i don't like the long nails anymore extra long lashes carry yourself with value i'm not coming for you sis but if your nails are very very long and you're wearing extra extra long lashes people are automatically going to not think you're a woman of value because a woman of value is not going to be carrying long long nails and long long lashes and trust me the moment you start transforming yourself into like more shorter clean simple nails and like lashes that are not too long you're going to love the way you look you're going to look so nice Nice, clean, sleek, simple. You're gonna love that look, trust me. But you gotta get out of that whole extra, extra long nails. That those extra, extra long nails definitely gives video vixen vibes, or you know, like a ghetto girl, like maybe entertain it, depending, you know, kind of look. And if you know you're not none of those things, then you shouldn't even be doing that. And if you know you want to really have valuable contacts and you really want to start attracting men of value, like I kid you not, them nails should not be this long, and your lashes should not be all the way up here. I'm sorry. I'm just telling you the truth. And trust me, the moment you stop doing those things, you're going to be like, wow, I look way better as opposed to when I was wearing those long nails and had long, long lashes. Trust me, I used to be that girl too. The funny thing about it is when you have that type of look, you're only going to attract a certain type of men. Check what I'm saying. When you have the long nails and the long lashes, you're only going to attract a certain kind of man. Think about it. Now let's recap everything. The three steps to packaging yourself as a high value woman. One, letting go of the lack mentality. Two, decluttering your closet off of cheap clothes, clothes you're not wearing anymore, quality over quantity. Three, letting go of the long, long lashes, long nails era. Four, listening to the high value woman audio book. This summer, it's not a hot girl summer. It's not a city girl summer. It's a high value summer because we're only attracting high value interactions and let's cheers to that guys thank you if you're watching on youtube thank you for watching if you're listening on spotify google Podcasts, or wherever you're listening to thank you for listening like comment subscribe it truly helps my channel and if you're looking for any of the links it's always going to be in the description box below turn on the notification bell to be notified when i upload more episodes and i will start adding guests to my episodes virtual guests to the episode so stay tuned for that and if you want to be a guest just email me and definitely we can set it up and you know the rest until we meet again.